Hi YouTube, so today um, I'm going to do a quick look on my model Kirsten using all Helen E Cosmetics. Um, I'm just showing you the eye look in this video but if you're wanting to see how I created the base please let me know and I can certainly film another video. Um, we went for a really nice smoky look that you could wear if you were going out partying or going somewhere really fancy so if you want to see this look please keep watching. So I'm just going in with the Helen E Stage Primer. This is probably my favourite base ever for shadows. It really makes them pop and I just think it creates the most flawless base. So I put it on with a big flat um, brush and kind of swipe it on and then pat it in because you do not want to see any hair strokes at all. You just want this to be as smooth as possible for your base, for your eyeshadow. So as you can see, I'm just patting it in. Then I'm just going in with the Helen E Pigment in shade 17 as a brow bone highlight. I also use this in the inner corner. This has to be one of my favourite pigments. Then under the shadow, I use the shadow Truffle as my transition colour with a big fluffy brush. I put this on and build the colour up until I'm happy with it because this is the colour that you're going to be blending into. I then use the shadow Espresso to really really build up the colour. Um, this is the colour that's going to be going beside the glitter so you want this to be intense and you want it to be intense in the middle corner too because we are going to be doing a cut crease. This is where I get the Helen e Cover Concealer in the shade 01 and I'm starting to cut the crease. Really take your time on this because you want this to be very precise as this is where the glitter is going to go on top of. I then just get the brush with no more concealer and kind of blend out the side of that so it is blending into the espresso shadow. Um, this just makes it look a lot nicer. I then go back in with truffle over that blend and just kind of swipe it over just to make sure that there's, it's very seamless. This is a new favourite of mine, it's Pigment 29. Um, I've put this over the concealer and as you can see it is the most gorgeous rosy colour. This is just a base for my glitter. The Helen E Fixing Gel is another favourite for glitter so I just pop it over the shadow and then go in with Sticky Toffee Glitter. Again, one of my favourites. I have to say I can't fault any of Helen E products. They're all amazing. Just really take your time with the glitter. Really press it in nice and firm to try to fo avoid fallout um, and you shouldn't have a problem with it. I then go in with a black gel liner and just go along the lash line. Kirsten did have eyelashes on so make sure you get really nice and tight into them to avoid any gaps as you want it to be really nice and black. What's went up must come down so again I'm going in with the shadow truffle and just blending out underneath the eye to create a really nice transition shade to blend all the other colours into. And then going back in with Espresso with a smaller brush again, right tight to the lash line and blending downwards. Again, just to make all the shadows blend really nice and seamlessly. The black gel liner is back out and we're putting that into the lash line just with a small liner brush and trying to get it nice and tight into the lashes. And then just get your blackest eyeshadow you have and blend that out as you want it to be really nice and just seamless so it's all nice and smooth. And this is the finished look. I really, really hope you enjoyed it, guys. I love doing client tutorials. I think they're really fun and it shows you a wee bit into my style. If you want to see how I've done the base, please comment down below and I will definitely do another video on that. All um, products will also be linked down below. And um, Thank you for watching. Bye.